cross to 70 AD is a period of 40 years. Now, you will see years number 7 and years number 40. Now, I'm going to quickly run through it and not do it word for word. I'm just going to do it so that you can understand. Everybody, 3 is for? 3 is for? God. 4 is the number for the? Earth. Okay, I really want to give everybody here something to take home. So what is three plus four? Seven. Okay, that is seven. But what is God and earth? Do you understand? Seven. If you read seven in the Bible, it means God is working with the earth. God is working with the earth. God is working with the earth. Now, can we go back? The end is determined from the beginning. How many creation days were there? Ah, so seven means God is going to work with the earth. Okay. Uh, how many times did they go around Jericho? Okay, let's look at the book of Revelation. Seven trumpets, seven seals, seven vials, seven spirits, seven eyes. Seven, seven, seven. So what is the book of Revelation about? God working with the earth. Now, the number 10 is complete. Complete. Okay. Now, I want you to really look at this old system. This old system had a rule that every seventh year, every seventh year was the year of jubilee. What mean of that? Everybody that bought something and everybody that took something that was originally someone else's. Seven years. It doesn't matter what it cost. It doesn't matter what, what, what. All the money, all the grounds, all the sheep, all the everything that's still alive had to be returned. So nobody will ever be poor. What did the system do? They didn't take the the the. It was a system of worship. Let's just write it like that because it was out of court, in a court holy. They didn't use this to bring them to God. They used this for themselves. And they were infiltrated with Satan's seed because when Jesus came to them, he said, you serpent seed, you vipers. They were sitting in Moses' seed. You get it? So they refused because why? The natural man says, no, I'm, no, I had that now for seven years. I'm not going to give your house back. I've, imagine it. You drive a car for seven years. You're going to give it back to where you bought it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you liar. <laughs> Do you understand the natural inclination? I mean, it's like, no, I'm not going to give it back. Now, sorry. You know what is the hardest thing now? is to die for your own will. Come on, guys, come on. There's a place in the spirit that is so wonderful. But these people wouldn't. In the old system, they wouldn't keep this. Then God said in Isaiah 34, it is for your good that I'm taking you to Babylon. How long were they in Babylon? Seven times ten. What does that mean? 70 years. A complete time of God working with the earth. This is spirit language. Day one is not just day one. It's go look what happened on day one. Day two is not just day two. Go look what happened on day two. Go look what happened on day three. Day four, plants were made before there was a sun and a moon and stars. Really? Do you understand? It's spirit, 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 spirit. Everybody say, ears, please hear. Spiritual ears must hear what the spirit says. Okay, now they went for 70 years to Babylon. Now, did they turn to God? No. They went and they perfected this system to a point that in this system, they now put um, Pharisees, Sadducees, and rulers of the temple. Pharisees, Sadducees, 
and synagogues. Synagogues. Oh, I can't even spell synagogues, but synagogues. So did God ever institute it? No. They took it and they said, now we sit in Moses' seat. We will now do what we will. So for 70 years, God worked with them. And what did they do? They messed up more. They rebuilt the temple without the ark. There was no ark because when they were taken to Babylon, the ark disappeared. Now they were, now they, they were doing it their own way. And you know what? Then they appointed a king that was not even a Jew. He was half Arab, Eret the Great. And he built it that was the biggest, bestest building in the whole world. And they worshipped the building. No wonder Jesus walked out and says, every stone will be broken down. You know who broke it down? The Jews themselves. Because the gold melted and they took all the stones off to get to the gold. When was that? 70 AD. But now, at the end of 70 years in Babylon, then Daniel, <laughs> Gabriel, came to Daniel and said, Daniel, now, 70 times 7 years will be upon your people and upon their city unto Messiah. So, because they didn't get it here, now, 70 weeks of seven of the most horrible history of Babylon, Media, Persia, Greece, uh, until Rome was given to Daniel. And Daniel, God said to him, seal it, Daniel, at the end it will speak. Now it comes in the book of Revelation 5. He says, there was one sitting, there was a book written within and on the back, sealed with seven seals and everybody in heaven was crying who will open the seals who will open the seals and he said the lion out of the tribe of Judah and as the lion took it it was the lamb that took it why a lion because Babylon the image of Babylon was a lion so Jesus was the lion out of the tribe of Judah here comes two lions Armageddon means a high place where great ones meet strength. They were going to battle it out, the sea battle that came through all the ages. And as they came in battle, the line of Judah turned into a lamb. And Satan thought he had God. But God sits in the heavens and he laughs. As he killed the lamb, the lion roared. And Satan was thrown out of heaven. <laughs> and now he's just a deceiver and we give him the place. Otherwise, why did Jesus die on the cross? Do you think at all that God is going to give this beautiful world to Satan to end it all after what he's done on the cross? No, his glory is going to fill the earth. So what is happening now is we're coming to uh, closer to the end and it looks like, oh, it's tough. It's uphill, and it's like, how God is going to do it? Man, God can feed 5,000 with two fishes. He can save the whole world in one day if he wants. But you know what? He's waiting for us to get in line. Does he need the whole world? No, he just needs the people that have heard. Come on, guys. Come on. Okay, now. Now he says, 70 times 7 will be unto your Messiah. That's 490 years. Now, 400 years of that was total silence where there was no prophetic voice at all in Jerusalem. Until Messiah. So Messiah comes. I just want to show you how beautiful the Bible is. And they say, how much must we forgive? Seven times? Seven times? What did they say? Shall we forgive like God? I think Jesus had tears in his eyes when he turned to them and said, You have got no idea what God has done for you. I tell you, you will forgive 70 times seven. So seven, 
Seven is a concept. Do you understand it? Right through the Bible. It's not a number. It's a concept. Forty is a concept. What does 40 mean? Four times ten. Four times ten. It's a complete time of the earth. So 40 is a generation. Now the Bible speaks so much about 40. I must actually read it to you. 40 days of rain for Noah. Israel wandered through the desert for 40 years. Come on. 40 days. Ezekiel laid on one side. And the Bible says, each, for each day, a year. 40, 40, 40. Nineveh was to be overthrown in 40. From the cross to 70 AD is 40 years. Where Jesus came to the Jews. They didn't receive him. They crucified him. But the gospel had to come to the Jews first. And because of Babylon, Media, Persia, Greece, and Rome, all those horrible nations that were in this 490 years, Israel was scattered all around the Mediterranean. They went and preached the gospel for the Jews first. Then they came finally to Rome. Just before they were beheaded, Peter were hung up upside down. Guys, there's people that paid a, a horrible price for us to have what we have now. You know, Isaiah the prophet, you know what they did with him? They hung him upside down and took a saw and saw him right in the middle. You know, Jeremiah was thrown in a mud pit. Come on, these, these guys took, took a hammering for us. And we're like, okay, wake up, man. We're in the bestest time ever. Thank you.